apps like Company Cam make it really easy to be able to document what's going on at the job and be able to generate reports for your customers. But there's a couple reasons you might find yourself moving on from a Company Cam. Reason number one is that while the pricing is generally attractive, you get above three users and suddenly you're paying a pretty hefty per user per month fee. But perhaps the more important reason is that your company is probably stacking a lot of different applications together to make your business run. You're using things like scheduling apps, estimation apps, photo apps, and they don't necessarily all work well together. So in this video, we're going to talk about how you can create your own custom app that acts very similarly to a company cam, but works well within the existing processes of your business. Hey, I'm Dan Lehman from Chromatic.com, and we help companies in construction, the trades, and other home services build systems that work well for their business, as opposed to the other way around, where you're constantly trying to cram your business into existing software. In today's video, we are building on a tool called Glide. It's not specifically built for the construction industry, but it's really nice to be able to quickly build and configure our own custom mobile applications. Inside of Glide, I'm gonna be showing kind of this view of the building experience. But of course, in real life, you're not gonna see all of these side screens. You'd be able to just access that information on your phone. And Glide also works for the web as well. So if you've got people back in the home office, they're not gonna see all this junk on the sides. It's gonna be optimized for the web experience. Okay, so let's say we're doing a residential build or remodeling project. And the first thing we probably wanna see is our jobs up on the screen. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click into one of our jobs. Now, anytime that we're taking photos, we want to make sure that it's really easy to be able to tag those photos and to display them in different kinds of ways. So, for example, you can see here that we've got all of our photos and we're grouping them by the phase right now. So if I want to be able to scroll down and see different pictures by the phase, we can group it that way. Or we could take a look by the room instead if we want. Different ways that we want to be able to display our information to make it really easy when you're on the site to be able to capture those photos. If we want to take a new photo, we could click up here to add a photo. But one of the nice things is we could go phase by phase and say, hey, we already know we're on the foundation. Let's go ahead and add a foundation photo. And what this does is it automatically tags that photo for foundation. It's already tagged for the actual job that we're on. Now we could add additional tags if we wanted to, like tagging the room that we're in. Of course, when we're actually on mobile, when we hit that button, it's going to open up our camera. We could take that photo directly or we could upload it from our camera roll if we've already taken that picture. Or we could record a voice note and have it automatically transcribed for us as well. Let's give this a try. I noticed a little bit of cracking in the northwest corner, so let's keep an eye on that for additional movement. So we can see our note here and go ahead and save that to the photo. And then we can also tag this with our GPS coordinates so that we get that location of where the photo was taken. So let me close out of here and let's go back and take a look at an existing photo that we have, maybe priming and painting here. Let's open this up. And here you can see we automatically get the date and time for it. We've got our tags of what phase we're in and what room that we're in. We've got some notes. And then like we showed before, we can capture those GPS coordinates and actually be able to show this on a map. Now, the other thing that we can do if you are doing residential jobs is we could reverse engineer that location. So we get the GPS coordinates, the lat long, and we turn that into an address if that's something that would be helpful for you as well. And then if we continue to scroll down here, sometimes you might find it helpful to have a before and after image. So you could capture one image and say, let's add an after image to that and then have a nice little slider to be able to show the impact of what's happening before and after. And then we also have the ability to add comments as well. So maybe we are chatting with our team and we've got some questions. And rather than having to go back and forth, now we can easily add comments directly within the context of that photo. Now, we also want the ability to track multimedia against specific tasks that we might have. So we've got this area for a punch list or a list of tasks. If we click on that, we can see our list of tasks and we can add new ones. So here we're automatically adding in the date, the name. We could add any kind of custom fields that we want. And then from here, if we have a task assigned to us, we could also upload images against that. So here we could upload a photo. We could tag it the way we want. Same thing as before, we could record and add notes to it. We can add our GPS location and be able to update the status as well. And so this is just another way that we can think about photos within the context of what's happening on the job site. They don't have to be in isolation. They can be logged against things like tasks. Now here back on the home screen, we've got the ability to create a report. And here's where we can generate progress reports. We can show an end report to our client. We could generate these internally. We've got a lot of different options. And one of the interesting stories that we heard from a roofing company is they're paying an admin a full-time salary just to take all of their photos and documentation 
and compile these into reports using a tool like Canva. So again, think of that as a full-time salaried person's job to be able to generate those reports, when most of the time we should be able to generate these reports automatically. So we can click that Create Report button. Here we get a notification that we're creating it. This is automatically generating it in the background and it's gonna open up this PDF for us. Now all the styling here, how this appears, what information you want on the screen, this is all super configurable. This is just a demo here, but we can show our different rooms or what we're working on, the progress. We've got notes from this, all the dates coming through. So you can see there's really a lot of flexibility on how we want to handle these reports, but to be able to automatically generate that and send that to our client is gonna make it so much easier than trying to manually do this yourself. Now, one of the questions we get is, hey, are you gonna store the photos in the app or is it gonna be stored in some different document storage? And really the answer is we can do either. So you could store it directly in the app itself, or oftentimes it's really nice to be able to have just a structured output in a tool like Google Drive or Dropbox so that if you ever change your mind about using software, you're not locked in. You've got all of the data so that you control it. And so having something like Google Drive, you could have it automatically generate the folder based on the job that you're on. So we've got that Stonehill Estates Lot 7. And then configure it. Hey, do we want this by phase of the project? Do we want it to be by the room? So in this case, we're going by room and we've got all of our photos automatically tagged, automatically uploaded. So now we can easily find them within the context of our Google Drive. We don't have to navigate all over and it's generated for us automatically. So I hope this video has been giving you a little food for thought of how you might want to operate your business and some of the custom features that you would tailor around your own business processes. If you have any questions on how this could work for your business, don't hesitate to reach out to our website at chromatic.com where we're offering free 30-minute consultations. 